Welcome back to One Bills Live. Chris Brown, Steve Tasker with you here on a Thursday and joined in studio, as we are every week, by Bill Safety Micah Hyde for his Nothing to Hide segment. And we'll get to your questions for Micah in just a second. But, but first, first, we have questions. Well, yeah, and there's also <laughs> an announcement that needs to be made as well. Uh, and it's good news, right, Micah? It's great news. It's great news. Uh, am I taking it away? Yeah, yeah take, it, take it, man. Take it. Um, yeah, so the, the charity softball game that we have here, and uh, in Buffalo, annually, it is, is scheduled for May 7th. Nice. May 7th so is the date. we have a date. May 7th is the date for sure. We're looking forward to it. Um, it's always a good time. Uh, my, my man Steve came out, you know, this year. I love it because I don't um, have to do anything. Yeah, yeah. You know, you just, <laughs> you, he just walks out the, walks out the, the, I told, the dugout. And, I told Mike, if I have to jog, I'm going to sue. <laughs> it's just always a great time. Man. It and, is. And, and to be in front of the fans. And it, I think it comes at the perfect time. You know, OTAs are going on. It's after the draft. You know, the young guys are the in The weather town. is finally turned. Weather, weather is turned, and, um, yeah. yeah, we just, uh, we just love the event. great turnout. Oh, beyond. Yeah, it really is a great it, – it's – I mean, I know COVID is – mm -hmm. it is an awesome event. Yeah. It's run well. A yep. ton of uh, – the guys all show up. Yep. Fans love it. Yeah. A lot of interaction. We got we to sell out this year. You got – yeah. We got to sell out. I think it's 16000 yeah. I couldn't make it last year. I was going to pick up my daughter at college. Uh, well, I got to get there this year. Got to. It's That's fantastic. It. It's fantastic. And, and it really is. It's well run. The, the money goes to a great cause. Mm -hmm. All that stuff. It's, yeah. uh, and it's, it comes with a perfect time of year. You said, mm -hmm. man, everybody's mm -hmm. like. Excited about the player, the, fo the guys back right. in town, OTA. And it's, yeah. everybody's outside. It's uh -huh. like, oh, yeah, yeah let's yeah. go. You yeah. know, it's really fun. Now, yeah. there's a pretty good chance by that time you're going to have the green light to play, right? You can play in that, right? Yeah, if the softball game was today, I'm playing. Okay. Yeah. Well, like, there's, no, there's nothing holding me back from the softball game. I'm out. I'm lifting. I'm running. You know, my doctor's saying no contact right now, but, you know, if, if we were playing a softball game, I might be playing right now. So I will for sure May 7th. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It's May 7th. I'd, I'm for sure be out there. So in, awesome. in due course, as the date gets closer, there will be information provided out there in, in terms of how to get tickets. Obviously, Mike is working with the Bisons once again. So mm -hmm. just mark it on your calendar for now. And then when ticket information comes out, we'll be sure to pass it along sure. to we'll you, you know. so you can make sure you attend the game. Okay. Uh, this is the first question. Obviously, there's snow in the forecast for Saturday night, mm -hmm. Micah. You obviously played in the 2017 game against the Colts here where there was measurable snow on the field. Mm -hmm. When you're in your scope and you're in your zone, you know, preparation for the game, you know, pre preparing for assignments, execution of the game plan, personnel you're going against, opponent, all mm -hmm. of this stuff, tendencies, where does the possible weather rank on the priority scale in that list of preparation um well you you always got to know if it's going to be a bad weather game um I, you know being in buffalo with the snow with the wind it, it has to be at the top of your priority because oh at the game, top okay yeah, close to the top yeah um because you know you got to know um how their game plan or how the offense is going to attack us if it's a snow game if it's okay. a windy game if you know that t those type of game. You know, obviously, um, Patriots game last year was just uh, yeah. you know super windy. Um, 2017 snow game against um, the the Colts. Like those are the type of games that you know you just you gotta you gotta know the, how the weather's gonna be because defensively you gotta prepare if it's a run game, if it's a pass game, that type of stuff. So yeah, and you go out too um, on a an, it's different for the type of weather it is. Like like last week, you you saw those guys. It was raining. Yeah. And it was, but it was like 30, it was above freezing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And then it's kind of turned into ice, all that stuff. Yeah. And then the mix is different. It's almost better. And you tell me, we were talking about it. It's better if it's snowing, not raining. Am I 100%. right? I'm, I'm all for the snow. And usually when it snows that much, it's not that cold. So um, I'm, I'm all for the snow. Rain, I'm not a big fan of. Um, and then the wind, you know, my, my punt return the, days. That's, that's yeah, the rain, <laughs> that's the rain. Difficult. Here's the, th here's the reason. Because when it, Snow, you don't get wet, mm -hmm. as crazy as that sounds. Mm -hmm. Rain, once you get wet, you ain't warming up no, ever. You, not at all. It's like that 35-minute shower mm -hmm. after the game where you stand under the hot water and just kind of get just, your core just temperature. Just have to get it back. Right? That game was wild. I, I still can't. Even when, even when I look at pictures, you know, I'm, my wife was saying they couldn't even see it, watch the game from the box. They couldn't even see it on TV. I'm running, and I'm on the snow, and then I – you you hit the yard line because right. they were you know yeah, yeah. They you actually have some footing so and you would you would drop down seems like a, a half an inch yeah. and you're like I'm about to like tear my tear my groin out there right. running full speed you know on different surfaces so it was, it was wild yeah. yeah 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 people forget like stepping off a step yeah, yeah. yeah people forget like 
Nathan Peterman started that game. Tyrod was hurt. Mm -hmm. Peterman goes out with a concussion. You got Joe Webb in the game. I still can't believe Deontay Thompson made that catch. That's insane. That was down a sideline, and then and then like shady the whole game. It's like he wasn't running in snow. Yeah, he was playing a different game. Than yeah, all he you was. Guys. Yeah, like he. Oh, well, the, he's the, the best the snow final, player I've ever seen. The, in my life. Yeah, yeah, Philly days back when he best was snow player. I've ever that seen. that game winning run was like no one else was running as fast as him. It was, it was impressive. He's completely unaffected. I, yeah. I don't know how yeah. he does it. I asked him after the game, like, do you do anything different? He's like, what are you talking about? I was like, all right, forget it. I'm not getting anywhere with that question. <laughs> he just he just doesn't even don't look even at, register for him. It's unbelievable. Look, thirty two is like. Trying to get through the snow and this like, dude just plowing through it. Uh, it but there might be measurable game. snow like that. No way. On Saturday night, they're, they're saying, saying yeah. three to seven inches on the field possible uh, during the day, during by game time. Yeah. So no way. I mean, they'll. I'm sure they'll have the tarp down, but if it's still snowing after kickoff, it oh, could man. pile up like it did. I gotta make sure I have my boots in they'll 2017. Have to, <laughs> the the yeah. rule says, and I believe that the the window is 90 minutes. Before the game, they got to have the field uncovered. Got to have the tarp on. You got to have the tarp on. So that's an hour and a half. So and if it's snowing it, two inches a, an hour, why is it a, why is it a rule? It's, it's like a, not a competitive advantage for each team. Well, because they 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 want it off in time for guys to go out and warm up. Proper warm up time. Gotcha. So they got to have it uncovered so they can go sense. out and warm up. Mm -hmm. But that's the latest they can. I think that's the hold latest it, they yeah. can hold it. Gotcha. Um, and that means you know, and that's if it snowed last night, you can keep the field tarp, mm -hmm. that kind of thing, and nice. all the way up. So that that's the window so guys can go out early yeah. and start, you know, fooling around on the field and see yeah. how it goes. That makes sense. All right. And yeah, that's we'll see. They'll have they'll have it covered. <laughs> they'll have it covered. If it's an eight twenty and they'll do it right to the if it's an eight fifteen kickoff, that's yeah. We'll see. Six forty five we'll six forty five they have yeah. to take it off. Yep. Let's get to the Nothing to Hide tweet sheet. Your questions for Micah to answer, as we do every week. This one from Joe. What was it like growing up in Fossorio, Ohio, and how and when did you come to have a street named after you? I am a truck driver from Buffalo, mm. and I spotted this while no working. No way. Go Bills. No way. That's, uh, yeah, in my hometown, I got a, um, a couple years ago after one of my football camps. Uh, we have a, every year we have a 500-kid free football camp. Nice. Um, yeah, and they surprised me. They even have a picture of it. That's Look at wild. That. Oh, we got a crack staff in there. Look at me? that, man. Yeah, so you know they uh, they they surprised me with that, and it's you know it's it's amazing to see. You know it's it's right leading up to the stadium. You know a place that I've spent you know a, a ton of hours just out there, just trying to you know fine tune my craft with my boys, my friends growing up, my family. Um, so you know, I was very surprised, and you know it took me back. So. Um, but it, how was it growing up in Fall Story? It was it was awesome. It was awesome. It's small town Ohio. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't have it any other way. It, it taught me um, everything I know to this day. I still play for that community for that city, and um, you know the whole community raised me. I'm a single parent, and I was a, I was all over the city with a ton of people at my friend's house, and the whole community raised me. So I wouldn't change for anything. Now is that the the street you grew up on that they renamed, no, 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 or is just, it right around the corner? That's from... lead up right to the stadium. And then, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I the high I'm, school stadium. You're yeah, I, I grew up in a you know four or five different streets, but that I that was you. lead up to the stadium. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Second question from Daniel. Just hoping your rehab is going well and that you'll be full go next year. I hate that you are not playing. We miss you on the field. We want you and Poe back together again so you can retire a Buffalo Bill. Um, what are the doctors telling you? Are things going pretty well with the rehab? Things are going great. Um, like I said, I'm running. I'm lifting. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm in you know, amazing shape right now. So I'm just trying to take it one day at a time. Um, if it was up to me, I would, you know, I... <laughs> I, I would love to get back out there, but um, it's not up to me. It's up to my doctor. So yeah. Right. So are you learning quickly uh, how tough it was for Trey wanting to yeah. come back? Because yeah. you're probably going through that right now. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm itching. But at the same time, I, I know I had a long conversation with my doctor even before surgery and after surgery. And, and you know, he understands that he has to protect me from myself. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm just that type of guy. That I just want to be out there. I want to be helping the team. And even though I feel great, which he said I was going to after surgery, I was going to feel great. But it's all about, you know, what the scans are showing and how healthy I really am on the mm -hmm. inside. So um, I understand that. But, you know, I'm still going to try to push it. Right. Him. That's the way it is. I, I've told I've got buddies, you know, I've gone through the knee surgeries mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And they always tell you the, the easier and slower you take it right after surgery, the yeah. fewer setbacks you have. Exactly. When you really do turn it up. Exactly. Right? And that's, that's exactly what I did. I didn't do anything for for a while. Right. And I was out in San Diego and I, I was just st walking around the house. That's all I really could do <laughs> yeah. and so you know when I got back here I took it really slow and I, I just I love where I'm at um, mentally now you know it was, it's it's still you know up and down just knowing you know that 
I feel like I could be helping the team, but I'm not able to be out there. And obviously, game days are pretty tough for me. But I just try to, you know, put up, put all that behind me. And I got a new role, and I'm excited for this opportunity that I have. Okay, so with that in mind, from Sharon, will it be more difficult to defend Hill and Waddle if we get the snow that's anticipated during the game? There's this old adage that offensive players have the advantage in snowy conditions because they know where they're going, and you as a defender have to be the reactive player. Is there any merit to that old adage or no? I don't, I don't, I don't think the offense has an advantage. Okay. I, I kind of like it. I kind of like when it's snowing. I, you know, I, I feel like the defense, um, any type of weather game has the advantage because, you know, if it's windy, um, quarterback can't throw into the wind, we, it's hard we to have execute. that advantage. If it's a snow game, we know they got to run the ball. They're not going to be able to pass it. If it's – raining then we know you know it's a good good opportunity to punch the ball out because the ball is wet so it, it can go both ways i mean i guess but i i'm a defensive mind so i feel like that's the thing for us <laughs> you're right though the weather can <laughs> force an offense into being a one-dimensional yeah. offense and if yeah. they're not that good at that one dimension big time advantage <clears throat> yeah, for, exactly. uh, for the d and that's the thing too it's it's a little bit unpredictable in how it's almost like a matchup problem with the weather exactly how does your offense match up with the mm-hmm. weather you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying that's, and, a, that, and, that's yeah. big that's and it's also match up with the defense but and special all teams I, I think right. special teams field position plays the biggest role because if you're punting into the wind or with the wind you know how big of a field position uh, position battle that could be and then same thing for rain and then snow like it's it, it doesn't matter it, i just feel like what you said it's about matchups how do you match up against the weather and you know we have we've played in this a lot uh we have a quarterback that lo- loves to play in the weather game so you know we feel like we can go out there and you know play our best with with the weather who right. knew all that time in laramie wyoming would be an advantage for josh now <laughs> very right. wild yeah. uh time for one more quick one here and this one's from tony do opposing players joke around and laugh during the game I guess he's asking like during timeouts, TV timeouts and stuff when you're both sitting there on the field. And then who's the funniest guy? Who's the funniest guy you've played against? Oh, wow. That's that's a that's a very good question. Yes. Guys, guys guys do joke around. Okay, guys do joke around. Um, You have all different types of of, of people. Like, I feel like I'm kind of one of those guys that that joke around to the other team until until like it really gets. It really gets in the heat of the right, battle. Right, right. And someone's talking Every, junk. Then okay. you know you got to go out there and it, it turns <laughs> yeah. into it turns into that game. And it's not yeah. funny anymore. It's not funny yeah. anymore. Okay. But uh, but the the number one guy, funniest guy you've played against, someone that just maybe cracked you up in the middle of a game like you weren't oh, expecting. Oh man, uh, I think it's always fun playing against former players that you've that you've played with. Oh, former teammates. Right, right, former right, teammates. Right. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel like that's always that's always pretty funny because you go to war with these guys every single week, and then when they're on another the team, you got to pretend like you. You know, like you don't like them, like yeah. you, you know, even pregame. Plus, you got a lot of material on them. Exactly, from being a teammate. Exactly. Right. So, like, you're, you know, pregame, you're talking to them, and it's you no, know, you know, you're hugging, Steve. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. like you're hugging, but you're really like, I want to win today. Like, <laughs> I, that's just how I am. I want right, to win. Right. It's kind of that Kobe mentality. Like, you, I gotcha. you know, you're playing against your boys, but you want to play harder. So then, when you get to the game. It kind of is funny. It kind of is funny, you know, especially playing against like uh, Shaq the last couple of years. Oh yeah. Oh sure. Uh, playing against Big Phil, uh, playing against those type of guys. So I don't know who the funniest opponent, you know, other than those guys are, but um, definitely former. Shaq teammates. would be a pretty good answer. Oh, Shaq's I, hilarious. I would think. Shaq's yeah. hilarious. I mean, the, the winter coat this week. He's doing the Jordan Phillips well, out there. Well, in practice. Yeah, Big Phil started that. He's been he he did that in his first go around here. Why would mm-hmm. big guys want to do that though? They're so they get so sweaty so fast. Anyway, you're putting a winter <laughs> jacket on. Look, man. And I, what does that jacket smell practice? like after practice? Yeah, that's got to go to the cleaners. I'm not smelling it. I'm not smelling it. Um, I don't know how you avoid it. All you got to do is walk by it. Yeah, that's well, true. But you know, those guys, they do whatever you got to do to get yeah. through practice. That's all. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. <laughs> you, you get up to the quarter. That's you a look, look man. What? That's a look. Tell me, yeah, tell me it, for me, I always dreaded going out and practice in weather like this. I always dreaded going out to practice like in days like this than I did more so the game. 100%. It was always a thousand percent harder to go out and practice mm-hmm. in. Well, because you weather. get up for a game, is that what you're saying? Like the oh, game the, is the game. The game is worth it. Yeah. 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 The yeah. Worth, yeah. Practice yeah. Is perfect worth way to say. It. The, the game practice is like ain't worth it. we used to have everybody's it. crazy. It was and yeah. you're going out there and you don't care what the weather is, you want to win. And um, practice comes around. We had and we have Pat Hammer now. Everybody talks to Pat. We used to have a rookie's job, his role was to go outside. We used to practice in the stadium all the time. His uh-huh. field house wasn't here. So we'd send the rookie out to the stadium and have, come back with a weather report. And he'd put on the he put on the board and say, okay, it is a locker day. Because if you got it in your locker, you got to put it on. That's it's, hilarious. Yeah, That's so great. that was a rookie's job every day. So Because we were practicing the exact same spot every day, and it was, it was important. Brutal. And if you got it wrong, you know, the guy See, you heard but I, about. What I've noticed here is that like, you do have to get used to the weather, though. 
Yeah, like oh, you, yeah. You have to get used to it. You have to get used to playing it. And so that's kind of, I mean, in that sense, it's an advantage. Like, I feel like with me personally being in cold weather games my whole entire life, like, I haven't right. been, out, been able to get out of it. Um, I, like, mentally, there's nothing better than December football knowing that it's going to be like that and the other team's coming in. They're going to be dreading it. They're talking about the weather all week. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're all here just walking through the snow, walking through the salt. Yeah. Just, it's not a shock. It's, yeah. it's a it's a night game. You know what? We're just I guess we're just a little bit crazy. Yeah, here. you go out on the game That's for fine. pre game. I love like, it. Yeah, okay. I love it. Practice. All right, Let's go. love it. Let's yeah. go. We you. are out of time already, but Micah, thanks for stopping in. We'll catch up with you next week. Sounds good. Thanks. Uh, for school those guys up on the sidelines on Saturday on night. The event, May 7th. And yeah, congrats on the Thank event, you. May seventh. The Can't softball wait. tournament, the softball charity event is back. Mark it on your calendars for May seventh.